PTC MathCAD Prime 6.0 is now available for download. And here's the great thing about PTC MathCAD Prime. You can download and use the Express version for free. If you Google PTC MathCAD Express, you will find a link to the page on PTC where you can get the free version of the software. You get a full up license of PTC MathCAD Prime for 30 days. And after the 30 days, it reverts to the Express version, which has a bit less functionality. But again, the Express version is free forever. So just go to this URL, this page here, and download it and get it and use it because it is awesome. But in this video, we're going to take a look at seven improvements to MathCAD Prime 6.0. Here I am in Prime 6.0. The first enhancement that we're going to look at is the ability to control custom margins. If you go to the document tab, here we have margins. And before you had a few different choices underneath here. If you go to custom though, you have the ability to change the different values in here. So for example, maybe I want a bit more at the top and I can plug in the values that I want to use. And if I want a little more on the right and a little less on the left, I can enter in the values that I want. That's good. Let's click the OK button and the sheet automatically, automatically adjusts for the new margin sizes that I've plugged in here. Second enhancement to take a look at, spelling. Let's go up to find some text in here. Here I have a paragraph, a bunch of text that's in here. If you go to the text formatting tab, you now have spell check. For the proofing language, all I have in here is English for proofing, but there is a spell check that is on. To show you this, let me go to a blank document. Let's go to the math tab, and I'm going to put in a text block, and I'm going to write some English in here. I write English good and so you can see in here we get the highlighting underneath here indicating that we have spelling errors that are in here the next one to take a look at let me go back to my previous document over here you can add hyperlinks to your text so for example I'm going to select a couple words inside of here let's go to text formatting then we have link and for the link address I'm going to type in the address I want it to go to then click the OK button and now I've got a hyperlink inside of here you can see when I hover over it, it tells me just like in Microsoft products use control click in order to follow the link to the URL that's specified there if you are doing find or find and replace, you have some different options in here. So you can find in math, find in text. This will now search in subscripts and identifiers. So for example, if I'm looking for drive and then use the find next, here we have drive in there. And now in this particular case, it's highlighting text in a subscript as well. And so it's catching all those different places where I used drive in subscripts in addition to having them in regular text. The next one that we'll take a look at is printing. So let's say I don't want to print this entire document. This entire document is about seven pages. Instead, I can just highlight a bunch of things inside of here. Let me highlight all of this. Now when I go to the MathCAD button and choose print, we have the ability to print just the selection. And also you can print a range of pages instead of printing the entire document. Okay, last two things I'm going to take a look at. First off, there is a new symbolic calculation engine. Let me go to this blank worksheet over here, and I'm going to do some symbolic evaluation. Let's do a very simple one to begin with. So for example, let's go to math, and let's go to operators, and let's do our 
integral, which you can see is the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift I. And I'm going to do the integral. Let me use the arrow key to move over. I'm doing an indefinite integral, and let's evaluate evaluate one divided by x, and then of x. And if I want to evaluate this symbolically, you can go to the symbolics dropdown and use this evaluator. You can also see that it is the keyboard shortcut of Control Plus. Let me hit the button, and now it gives me the value here of ln of x. Let's take a look at a, another example in here. This time I'll use Control Shift I to get the indefinite integral. And let me tab over. I'm going to do sine squared of x. Let me do sine of x. And then all of this. Let me use Shift 6 to get to the power squared. And then just using the right arrow to get to x over here. And again, for the symbolic evaluation, I will use Control and the plus sign. And there you see how it evaluated it symbolically. So there is a new engine available. If you want to use the old engine, you can go to the calculation tab. Then we have calculation options. And here you can choose to use the legacy symbolic engine. And beware if you do that, you're going to get this warning in here that, hey, the legacy symbolic engine will be removed in a future version of MathCAD Prime. And I'm going to go into PTC community to figure out what kinds of symbolic evaluations were having issues in the legacy symbolic engine to, to be able to compare the difference between the two. But obviously in this particular situation over here, hey, we're not having any issue. And so, for example, if I was using the legacy engine, we can do log of x. X and then control plus to evaluate and here you can see again legacy symbolic solver still giving us the correct answer in here the very last set of enhancements we'll take a look at in prime 6.0 updates to the chart component so if I go to the math tab the chart component was added in MathCAD Prime 5.0 and allows you to create really, really nice 2D plots of your data. But there's some additions that were made in here. So let me double click on this. Oh, actually, this is a regular one. Here we have a chart component. I'm going to double click on it. And this will take me into my chart component. First thing that you have in here, now you have a slider bar that will help you zoom in and zoom out for working on this, working in a particular region. And that way you can say, hey, you know, I, I want to focus in on this area up over here uh, or maybe go over to the right. And so the zoom and the zoom out will help you get that granular level of detail into the chart that you are creating. The next enhancement, if I go to the chart tab, you're going to have some additional sample templates that are available to you uh, by default. Next enhancement is that you have help that's available to you. If you go to the upper right hand corner, there's a little question mark icon that allow you to summon the help. And the last one, this is something that I really like. Back when I was using the chart component in 5.0, especially for some of the blog posts that I was writing, in order to include this in here, I was using Snagit in order to grab an area. But now you can go right to the file menu and you have save as image inside of here. That allows you to output this to a file that you want to save. And so, for example, here we have the choices for PNG, JPEG, etc., and so on. And even SVG, which is nice if you want to use a professional graphics editing program for manipulating what you've generated. So there you have it, a bunch of different options available to you. Just to recap again, custom margins, spell check, ability to add links. Find and replace works in subscripts and identifiers. You are able to print a portion or a range of pages. You have a new symbolic engine. And also in the chart component, you can zoom in, zoom out. You've got some default templates. You've got help and you, the ability to save your charts as an image. Once again, download it. It's free. I guarantee that you're going to enjoy it.
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.